it's National Teachers Week, and I just have a special message to all our teachers in the 52nd Senate District. This week, the governor made some comments about the future of education in New York, and he seemed to suggest that he's working with the Gates Foundation to replace physical classrooms across New York with remote learning. Let us not forget, these are the very same people who were behind the disastrous Common Core initiative. Immediately after these comments were made, local parents and teachers alike have been reaching out to my office, all opposed to this idea and all with very valid concerns. I'm glad that the governor's office has already started to backtrack on his comments, but I'm here today to assure the parents and teachers that I so proudly represent across the 52nd Senate District that no matter how many times his opinions or strategy change on this, I've got your back. Our community is fortunate to have some of the most dedicated and passionate educators you can find. There is simply no substitute for the in-person learning that our students experience in the classroom. Our students learn so much more at school than just the contents of their textbooks. In their most formative years, they learn real life skills, teamwork, and the kind of socialization that you just can't find sitting at a computer screen. Our teachers provide so much more than quizzes, lectures, and homework. They are mentors, they're counselors, and they're friends to our community's most treasured citizens. And nothing can replace the one-on-one -on -one bonds and relationships that our teachers build with students through in-person instruction in the classroom. Let us not forget our many students with special needs and disabilities who simply can't get the educational support and services they need through remote learning. Let us not forget the social workers and counselors each school provides or the daily nutrition our students receive from breakfast and lunch programs. For some students, it's the only nutrition that they get. Make no mistake that technology will always have a place in our children's education. And we must take advantage of it however we can to make sure our children have more tools to help them succeed in the school and in life. But the remote learning systems we've used during this crisis were always meant to be temporary. They were a crutch to help us get through these very difficult times. And think about this for just a moment. When a wound is healed, you don't keep a Band-Aid on and make it permanent. We all agree that we have to reopen and move forward in a smart and thoughtful manner given the realities of this global pandemic. But we must remember what we've been fighting to save and part of that is our children's future and successful development both intellectually and socially. As long as I serve as your New York State Senator, I will always fight to make sure that our students will be able to learn and thrive in the classroom once again, and that our dedicated teachers are there to provide them with the education and support that they need and they deserve. Thank you all and God bless.